Hello and welcome back to the channel. So this is the part 7 of our breakdown motion matching tutorial series. So in our last part we have set up the curve matching system where we can pick a random idle animation uh, by providing a value to our curve map variable. So uh, in this one we will set up our uh, set up a way where we uh, when we goes to idle when our idle animation is finished and then we will play the random animation from the database. So first of all uh, we will need a way to find out when our current animation is finished. So this is pretty easy if we are working with uh, state machine setup. We have the weights of state A to state B. Uh, we, it, it is really easy to find out what is the current weight of the uh, what is the weight of our current, uh, anim current animation state. So while working with uh, motion matching system, it is uh, not that easy to find out when our animation is finished and when we need to go to the next animation. So we need a custom way to find out when our current animation is finished. So in order to do that, we need a custom way to find out so we have this motion matching node inside uh, our animation blueprint and we have this post evaluation function uh, post and post update function for this motion matching if i open this up open this function up uh, you can see we have this uh, information from motion matching node uh, this information will give us which database is currently selected which animation is currently playing what is the selected time of the animation so uh, stuff like this, like a number of different uh, pieces of information. Uh, we already have this uh, database uh, and database tag set up. So now we need, first we need is, uh, we will promote our selected animation to a variable. Current playing any. So I have promote this, promoted this to a variable. Now if I debug my current playing animation, you can see we have playing idle loop, start, stop, forward, different animations. So first of all, we have an issue over here. We are not playing the stop animation. And this is happening because inside our idle database we have selected the poster schema for our curve matching so if i change it to a default schema uh, we are playing the stop animation so in order to fix this first uh, what i will go is go open my post search database chooser table i will go to my chooser so we have idle idle and unstairs so currently we have only we don't have any extra information to playing the stop animation. So for what I will do is add an extra uh, extra variable, extra variable which we can use to identify when we are playing stop animation or not. So I will add a float variable which will be our speed. So when our speed, let's say, is in range of zero to um, zero to twenty we will play the idle animation and when we our speed is greater than 20 and we are in idle state we will play the stop animation no max so our run stop when our speed is minimum 20 and maximum will be like 500,000 we will play stop animation when this speed goes less than 20 we will play the idle animation so now if I hit play you can see we are playing the stop animation and then going back to the idle loop. So this is uh, totally working fine now. So now we have the, let's get back on the track. We have promoted this, promoted our current variable, current animation to a variable. This is our currently playing animation. Uh, what I will need is a new very, uh, I will need a new cus uh, function. Uh, just give me a sec. I will create a new function motion matching 
find animation ends find animation ends so this function will find out when our currently playing animation is ended or not I will mark this to a thread safe and we will call this function inside our thread safe update animation find animation ends so inside our this function we have current we have this variable current playing animation I'm gonna duplicate the same variable and set this to last last playing animation there we go so now if my current playing animation is not equal to last playing animation if this is not equal which means the uh, animation have been changed like we are going from start to stop start to idle like a couple of different scenarios so in short we have uh, when our current animation is not equal to last animation what we will do is create a new variable time since anim playing so this will be our float variable if my current animation is not equal to last animation then set this time since animation playing to zero we will reset our uh, timer you can say we can reset our timer function and then set our last to our current so when uh, our current playing animation is equal to last playing animation then we will increase our timer get current value add add our get delta seconds sorry delta seconds add it over here and set this to current playing animation to last playing animation so now we have a time when we uh, start playing the uh, start playing any animation so if I debug this time now you can see the time increases when our animation is not changing and when our animation change change our timer set goes back to zero and then start increasing so now you can see uh, we are in run loop animation and you can see we are in a single animation the time increases gradually so we will use this information to find out when our current animation have finished so in order to find this out i uh, will grab a sequence node over here put it over here the first sequence will be this second one will be our first thing first I will just give me a second playing anim current playing anim I'm gonna get the length sorry we need to cast this to a cast to anim sequence cast to anim sequence this will be a pure cast I'm gonna promote this to a local variable current anim we will use is valid just for a safety check actually let's just find so we have uh, 
This is the current playing animation, cast row animation sequence. This will be our local variable current playing animation. Now I will grab my current animation, get length, get sequence length. So this will be, uh, this will give us my length, total length of my animation sequence. So let's say if I am playing any idle animation, let's say this one, the length is 5.03 seconds. This will give me the total length of my current sequence. And I will simply check if this is equal to my time since animation playing. So if this is equal to our current time when we are playing the animation, then we will create a new function. Current anim finished promote boolean. So this is the simplest way to find out when our current animation is finished and we will use this information. So when this variable sets to true, which means we our current animation have finished, we can move to the next animation sequence. Okay, this is good now. Let's find out if this is really working or not. So this current idle animation is uh, 10 seconds long. So let's wait for this and see if this variable sets to true. Mm. Yeah, it is not. So we have this, uh, first of all, we have this error. This is because we need to check if our cast random sequence is valid or not. So if our cast is valid, then we need to start calculating this function. Okay, so I will, what I will do is just give me a second, delta of seconds. Time since I'm playing. Okay, so we need to clamp this variable. Clamp to So this will be the value, minimum will be zero, maximum will be our length of the sequence. So we will clamp our current animation, current timer to the maximum length of our current animation sequence. So now if I hit play, we should uh, see the true condition when our current animation have finished. So we will need for need to wait for 10 seconds because the idle animation is, yeah. See, so our animation have finished, which means total length has been, uh, uh, total length of our time has been reached to the maximum length of our sequence. All right. So now this functionality is done. We can uh, find out when our current animation have finished. Now we need a way to find out, pick the random animation from the idle. So what I will do is create a new function. Find random idle anim. Find random idle animation. So inside this function, what we will do is, first we will check if our current locomotion state is equal to idle. If our current locomotion state is equal to idle and next condition we is if our current animation have finished, current idle animation is finished, then we will need to pick a next idle animation so that we don't uh, pick the idle animation before playing the current one, and then the system will uh, will no longer able to work uh, work properly because we are not uh, we are not 
taking the account of our current animation time. So when we reach to idle state and our current animation have finished, then what? Then we will need grab our random idle curve. Set. Sorry. Add to the zeroth index. Our name is this and random integer in range. So zero is our default animation. We will pick one to six. So now let's call this uh, function and let's hit play and see the results. Okay, let's wait for 10 seconds and we'll see if we have played the next uh, next animation or not. All right, yeah, great. Currently, as uh, you can see that we are playing the random idle random animation using motion matching. So I hope you like this video guys and let me know your feedback in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye.